Hi there friends and welcome to my Prison Labor Mod Showcase. I'm Icon and this little mod showcase will guide you through the usage of the Prison Labor Mod, what it can do for you and uh, how you use it. So before we start, um, you'll find the mods I use in the description below and um, the Prison Labor Mod goes best with the Locks Mod. I posted both of those links in the description below, so you'll find those mods together if you might want to use them. So the Prison Labor Mod is enabling you to give, to uh, make your prisoners work for you. So in the work uh, table, you now have a new uh, writer here called Prisoners, and you can see here, that's the jobs they can do for you. They also have a priority bar just like anybody else, and. Uh, these are the jobs they can do for you by default. So I'm going to roll through how you work with it. And uh, in the second half, I'm going to talk about the configurations, uh, what you can uh, individualize and uh, such things. But first up, let's uh, talk about the usage. So if you're unwilling to use the locks mod, um, the problem here is even though you use the mod, these guys are not able to uh, open doors. So basically, if you would want them to uh, work without the usage of the locks mod, you would be uh, n uh, needing to do something like that. You need to hold open that door permanently. And now these uh, guys are able to leave that place. But uh, let's say I want to put in a little uh, sweatshop here or something like that. Oh, well, maybe not a, not really a sweatshop. Let's uh, say a uh, a uh, stone cutting table would be decent. Here we go. And uh, roof. Is there a roof here? All right. So if I would want them to work here for me, here is the same problem. It'll only work if I keep that door open for me. So uh, we're going to make any stone blocks. We want to make them forever and I want them to be done here in this uh, little enclosure. So I put up the necessary uh, things, a stockpile zone, a dumping stockpile zone and such. There we go. So um, as you see here, these builds are now able to be uh, configured for everyone or limited to prisoners or colonists. That's pretty neat to know because this way you can uh, make sure that certain jobs are only being done by your prisoners. And uh, you see here um, now that since these doors are open, Parrot is uh, already walking over here and uh, doing the job. But uh, to show you an example here, the moment I close those doors, um, they can't work anymore and they get instantly arrested even. So uh, manual is still working on it. But uh, as you see here, my people are already walking back and they can't work for me. The solution to all this is the locks mod, which uh, gives you the opportunity to uh, designate uh, doors to be locked or unlocked. Um, this works like uh, flicking a switch on electric devices. So somebody has to go to the door and actively unlock it. And now since these doors are unlocked, what show? let me show you what's happening now. So now they are able to leave their uh, barracks and work inside this enclosure. And this is what you, why I personally think the Lux mod and this one go hand in hand so well. The, the mod maker himself uh, links onto this mod. Um, in his description. So um, your prisoners, of course, uh, are only limited to the jobs you see here. So therefore, you have to work um, on a enclosure that uh, features jobs for them, or otherwise, they won't be doing anything. But uh, this way, it's uh, quite easy to create a little uh, prison colony inside your colony, where your uh, folks are able to uh, do their own thing as long as they want to. So uh, I guess you got the idea about that. So, um, oops, I didn't want to do that. Um, what this mod also features is um, that you're able to um, recruit your uh, prisoners while they are working. So new to this is now you can either, either force them to work. This is a standard setting that has to be uh, checked or work and recruit. If you're toggling work and recruit though, 
it's really important to say that you have to put people on the newly uh, generated jailer job. The jailer job is uh, necessary to um, recruit people while they are uh, working on the fields. If you don't uh, feature jailers and only wardens, they won't be trying to recruit those guys on the fields anymore while they're working. So that's really important to know. Apart from that, if you ever uh, happen to do something like that, let's say I'll unlock this door. I'll show you what happens then. Um, of course, your uh, prisoners will automatically try to escape the moment you give them an option to uh, flee. So um, you really have to uh, keep them in, in check here. You see there? They're instantly trying to make a break for it. So um, if you have no proper configuration for uh, the door locks, you see how quickly they'll escape. But as long as there's somebody designated to the jailer job in their vicinity, they're unable to, or well, they're getting slowed down massively. You see that blue icon right next to them, that's why. So, and uh, another really important thing that needs to be said, an unlocked door is usable by raiders too. They will use it just like anybody can use it. So make sure that the doors you use for your prison colonies are not open for raiders because it opens up your uh, base for uh, nasty attacks. So last but not least, I wanted to talk about the configurations. So um, prison labor has some configuration options. Um, you can uh, set here which kind of default and direction they got, but the most important thing here is uh, motivation mechanics. So uh, yeah, that's uh, for the jailer job, but uh, prisoners can grow advanced plants, yes, and allowed work types. That's what I was uh, what I wanted to talk about. So you can, of course, allow prisoners to do more jobs. If you're uh, feeling like going on a full-on prison labor uh, experience, you can also designate a lot more things. So motivation mechanics. Um, here, blue icon for inspiration, green icon for gaining motivation by other factors. So um, you can work with those, but, or you can just disable that if you want mindless drones. Without motivation, they'll uh, ultimately try to uh, escape your prison labor by uh, escaping out of life. Enable revolts, enable prisoner suicide, as you see here, prisoner full heal. Prisoner will stay in bed until fully healed. This is also quite uh, interesting to know that if you leave this checked, they'll only start working when they're fully healed. Show treatment happiness. Yeah, okay. It's nothing really too uh, special here, but um, difficulty 102. I didn't know that. So as you see here, that's that. Those are the configurations in case you want to uh, let your prisoners work more thoroughly in your colony. That's way to go. And I think that uh, already covered up all the things necessary to know about this mod. I really like it. I uh, It's one of my favorite mods to use for prison labor, prison labor experiences. And I think with this little mod showcase, I've already covered up all the things you needed to know to have fun with this little mod too. So if there are any questions, drop them in the link below. Thanks so much for watching. It means so much for to me. And uh, yeah, apart from that, feel free to leave me a feedback, leave a like, leave a subscribe. I'd be deeply delighted if you do so. Until then, have a great day and hopefully see you soon again. Bye bye.